Hello and welcome back to a podcast for nerds, the only show on the internet where two dudes who met as kids discuss our journey with all things nerdy as well as life in our 30s. I'm Cody. And I and I'm Dakota. I forgot to unmute it. It's on? <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh and today we're talking about anime crossroads. Yeah. 2023. But before we jump into that. I didn't get to go. So yeah, well, what's going on? What are we doing first? Well, before we jump into that, I just want to say, what's up, Dakota? What's going on? How you doing, on? buddy? I missed you. It's been a couple weeks. What are you doing? You doing well? You got any hand sanitizer? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oi, oi. I'm doing good. I'm doing fantastic. How yes, are you? Pretty good. I just started my new job. I'm liking it a lot. Really? Yeah. I don't... No, if I should say what I am, I'm a janitor. <laughs> oh. I'm a janitor now. That's all right, though. That's what you're doing? Yeah. I knew you were at the school, but yeah, custodial. I thought you were a teacher. <laughs> no. <Just playing. laughs> no, I do custodial work now, but that's all right. It ain't much, but it's honest work. How is it? I like it a lot. The, uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of downtime. Really? A lot of downtime. What do you do with that downtime? Um... Every other day, I've been working out at the in the school gym, and that's allowed. You're not sneaking in, mm -mm, sneaking no, past the cameras. No, I can go in there as long as I'm, as long as my work's done or I get my work done. So you're at the same school we went to. Mm -hmm. Is this is the gym the same as it was back then, or have has it changed? Nothing's really changed since we graduated. In the There's whole a, school or in the gym? In the whole school. Really? Yeah, the whole. It's uh, yeah, it's more or less the same still, like. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any any differences. There's like a few s like the no no. It's literally all the same. All of it. Yeah. Do they still have those trailers out back? No, they got rid of those. No, the moves are gone. No more moves. Oh, is that what it was called? Yeah, they were the M zero zeros. Yeah, I did Spanish in those. Yeah, that's what they called them the moves. Move one, two, three, and four. Yeah. So you're working out. You're lifting. Yeah. How's it been working out? When's the last time you worked out? Uh, Friday. No, I mean before the oh, show. Uh, like actually committed to it. Yeah, like actually did stuff regularly. Like 2014. <laughs> what were you doing then? That was when I was going to the gym with you and Drew. <laughs> okay, I remember that. Jimmy Stutter there to the gym. <laughs> to the gym. I see. Uh, so how's it been? Yeah, Are you... I mean, I'm. I've only done, worked out three times so oh, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm seeing a, not a ton of results so far but right I mean, but I, I mean how I'm, do you feel like I, I feel good after I work out you okay. know it's it's uh I don't do like leg day arm day or anything like that oh, right. I just work it all out at once because I have you know just that's what I want to do I'd rather just work it all right um but uh you know maybe I'll work up to that I'm just trying I'm not trying to destroy myself I keep it at like 50 pounds on most things for sure so I'm not trying to like Kill myself. I mean, hey, you haven't worked out in such a long time. I personally would probably recommend, yeah, just whatever you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. And then if you feel good about it and you want to keep going, you can learn like the, like increase weights and learn yeah. other exercises and things later. Um, the problem is, is the machine, the area, I don't want to use the, the best way to build your chest, which is my kind of goal is I just oh. want to get my chest a little bigger. You know, okay. You can eat more pizza. That'll get it bigger. Yeah, that's Trust true. me, it's personal experience. <laughs> But um, but yeah, my goal is to get my chest just a little. Just, no, I'm not trying to get ripped. I'm not really trying to get. I just a little bigger. Okay. I'm not trying to get sh huge or anything. Just a little bigger. But what about it? The machine. The, uh, the best way to one of the best ways to uh, do that is bench press. Right. But they only have a, they have a bench press machine. The one where you sit up and like. Well, no, it's uh the. Bench itself is actually connected to like these bars. On oh, the side. I've seen those. Okay. Yeah, but, but I have a hard time getting my balance on that, and I don't want to do a real bench press because I'm working out by myself. You have no spotter. Yeah, and that's dangerous, and I'm not doing that. Nobody goes with you. No one else there is interested in. No, there's one other guy, two other guys that work out there, but I I want to work out by myself. That's the oh. perk. That's why I don't like going to the gym. I don't like working out around people. Oh, I see. Well, oh, then it's perfect. Yeah, you can do it alone. Yeah, and I do. Well, it. Why don't you like working out around people? I don't know. Is it just, it's just a I just anxiety I, thing, or I like the quiet, and I just it's more just I feel like I can just kind of 
go at my own pace and not have to worry for about sure. anybody waiting on me or I can don't have to wait down any of the machines. For sure. For sure. That's I, something when I started going to the gym again recently, I was like, man, I've worked out alone for so long that being around people is weird. Mm -hmm. But I got used to it pretty fast. It's been about a month, I think, since I started a little over a month. Mm -hmm. And I feel used to it already. And I realized... Yeah, nobody's paying any attention to you. <laughs> you put on your own music and do your own thing. The only time they look at you is when they want your machine, but basically no one ever says anything. And if you just, you know, do your reps and, and your sets and move on, then nobody's upset. You know, nobody thinks you're there for too long or something. But yeah, it's great. I mean, maybe you can work up to that someday. Who knows? Maybe you'll really get into it someday over time and you'll be all right doing it. But uh, My problem is, is I'm not exactly... I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm right. doing as far as like how to do it. My my dad told me actually a good way to build your chest and not have to worry about it is get like the heavy dumbbells and lay down and just Yeah, you can do that. Dude. That's like that. dumbbell flies. Yeah. Dumbbell flies. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think that's what I'll probably start doing. You got to be careful with all of it though cuz yeah, you can mm. definitely Yeah, I mean you said you're using lightweight. Yeah, I'm just not trying to that. kill yeah. myself. I'll, I'll work up to this bigger stuff. I'm just keeping it like at 50 pounds for now, like maybe 20, 20. Oh, right. You know, for 40, sure. 20, 40, you know, I'm not, just trying to get a little bigger. Right. I'm not trying to get shredded. I mean, that's the great thing about I'm having a Arnold. That's the great thing about working out with other people, though, who do know what they're doing, that you know you can trust and aren't going to, like, judge you in any way, is they can tell you the proper form. But, yeah, when I go to the gym or something, especially when I started going again recently, it just, honestly, my feeling when I went is, like, I was a bunch of like meatheads and like, I, it makes me self-conscious. Like mm -hmm. they know what they're doing and they're looking at me like I used to know how to work out, mm -hmm. but it had been so long. It's like, do, am I still doing this form correctly? And mm -hmm. I wonder like, are people looking at me and thinking, oh, this idiot, he's doing it wrong. For me, it's, I don't know how many sets and reps and all that I need right. to do. So like I finally Googled it and what I'm keeping it to is in each workout is three sets of 10. That is a great place to start yeah that's a great that's i think where most people start yeah. and if i can i'll go a little further you mm -hmm. know like if i feel like you know i'll push myself well you know i'll do an extra five on this set well what i'll tell two. you off what i know about reps and sets is three sets is normally that's pretty normal that's what i think like three to four right yeah uh normally if you do lighter weight with more reps like 12 to 15 reps that's gonna the, people might yell at us in the comments but this is what i've always been told that's going to build that lean muscle. If you do heavy weights where you can, you're like maxing at around six to eight reps, that's going to build that big bulky muscle. Now what's the difference between lean and bulky? Uh, I mean, lean is that like where you're strong, but it looks thin. Okay. But bulky is where like you look big. Okay. You know, so it depends what you want to look like. Basically less weight. If you want to look like thin but still be strong, mm -hmm. more weight. If you want to like look big, I'm kind of want to in between that. Then I guess where you're at's good, around ten. But you should be like, yeah, on that tenth one, you should be kind of, you should be struggling. Yeah, I, yeah. I usually am. Okay, okay, cool. I'm usually on that tenth, by the thirtieth, I'm actually like the thirtieth because it's three sets. Of oh, guy, oh, by, yeah, yeah, by yeah, that thirtieth, yeah. especially when I'm on that leg machine. That's oh. where I'm pushing up. I'm like, because I usually go pretty. I usually go up to sixty on because I got. Is it the one where strong. you're laying down and you push your leg? No, oh. you, you lay down flat like this. Uh huh. And then it's got like a wall, and then you just push yourself up. Oh. So you're like, gee. They used to have that at Gold's, but they don't have it at the gym I'm at now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like that machine a lot. And I'm then, I'm hoping they're gonna add some more stuff at my gym because they're expanding it by three thousand square feet right now. Nice. So who knows? But. Now, the other thing is I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do with... Now, I actually have already pretty good legs, uh -huh. but it doesn't hurt to keep them going. Yeah. But my calves, I don't know what's a good workout for them. But then I finally... There's an arm machine there to work out your arms and chest, and it's got a little bar down there to balance your feet on. And I was like, hmm. And I, like, put my feet down on it and stretched it out and I just started pushing it with my feet mm -hmm. and I was like oh that's a really good calf workout right there I mean that is the calf work that I always, the calf workout I always see is like standing on something and then just like bending your ankles up and down yeah that's it I just yeah I was like oh then you know what that's a because I take my feet you can't see it and I just do this mm -hmm. yeah put it on like 40 50 pounds of weight and 
I was getting a pretty good calf workout the other night. And then, of course, the treadmill, I usually go to incline. I went to incline about oh, nine. Oh, yeah. I always cool down with a tread- 10-minute walk on the treadmill. That's a good idea. I Googled that a long time ago. What's better? It depends what you want, but probably for what you're looking for, yeah, after. Do the treadmill after. Yeah. yeah. And I like that a lot. I put on my iPad. Mm. Or my, my iPad. I don't have an iPad. I have a tablet. Oh, uh, you watch your yeah, tablet. Yeah, I just put on, you know, was what? Yeah, I just put on Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's what I have been doing on when I go to the gym. I'm cycling at the end instead of the treadmill because I'm trying to prepare for this cycling trip I'm, I've am i committed myself to. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just take my phone out and I watch Good Mythical Morning nice. <laughs> while I'm cycling. Like, I just save it until I get to the gym. Nice. What's this cycling trip? I've never told you about this. Uh-uh. Seriously? Yeah, we haven't talked about this. I'm going to Korea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I'm cycling across... Korea. Oh, from Seoul to Busan, like all the way across the country. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Korea has this. I found out. uh, How many miles is that? I don't know. (laughs) It's like 500 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles. Like 200, 300 or something. 300 miles. Yeah. But I'm not. um, What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I found out that in Korea, they've built, there's like, I don't know how many of these there are. There's like at least four, four or five. 310 miles. 310 miles. Okay. Well, they've built like four or five of these cycling roads in the country. So they are big, nice, well-maintained, go through all the towns and things you'd want to pass, have bathrooms along the way, convenience stores. They are just roads for bikes and there's no cars. Okay. You never have to worry about a car at all the whole way across the whole country. That's pretty nice. Or maybe a little bit like if you get off that road and you're in a town or something, you may have to worry with, about a car. But generally going through, there's no worry. Mm. So I was like, that sounds sick. Uh, that does sound fun. I'd do that. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do this route in like a week and a half or two weeks. But I'm not a cyclist. As You're probably you know. going to take your time, see the sights, explore off trail. Exactly. That's 100% the plan. Be careful. Yeah. I want to go. wander up into no man's land. <laughs> yeah. I want to go to, um, there's a lot of little towns and cities along the way. So I plan to just stop in those. And yeah. Now you're going to be gone a total of two months for Japan and Korea, right? Almost two months. Yeah. Okay. Like a month and three weeks or something like that. No, we haven't discussed. Is this going to, we taking a break at that time, right? I assumed we would film ahead. Okay. But I'm not really sure what we'll do. And by that time, I should be having my own stuff going. Oh, and really? And maybe I can upload my own things in the meantime. Yeah, I mean, we've still got months to figure that out. Oh, yeah. I leave at the end of I September. I started on a script for something I'll talk to you about later. Really? Yeah, it's more for a TikTok that I want to do, but... Oh, cool. But... Yeah, I, I, I've got a long time, so we, we have time to figure that out, but... I don't know. It seems cool. Nate just told me, he just wrote me because he saw I shared my bike that I got on Instagram. He's like, uh-huh. I see you got the same type of bike as me. And I'm like, let's go to Korea. I didn't know Nate was cycling. I'm like, let's go to Korea, bro. And he's I like, no, no, no. I Nate in a minute. I don't know what he's up to. I just saw you- Nate at Crossroads. Yeah, see, you see Nate more than I do now, which is weird. It actually is weird. I was thinking, I was just thinking yesterday, I may end up. I will end up spending more time with Nate this year than with you. Yeah. Which is strange. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know why that's strange, it's because Dakota and I were always closer than me and Nate, and Dakota and Nate were always closer than... Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, me and Nate were friends outside of the group that Cody and I were friends with, and Nate just kind of integrated into the group because of me. Yeah. And now it's just weird because Nate was always... I was always the... Closer to Nate. Yeah, and now yeah. it's weird that... Uh, not that you guys are closer or any of us are well, closer. We to might you. be after Korea or after Japan. I yeah. mean, three weeks together. I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. but anything could happen. You never know. Yeah. Might come back a totally different person. You know, we we're talking about going to Onsen. What's that? Oh, hot spring. Oh, and you got to be completely naked in those oh, hot spring. Oh, shoot. We that's, might back, come back totally different people. Different. You know there was I mean? once upon a time in a weekday one up episode uh-huh. when we talked about what if one of us saw the other naked uh-huh. and you say, <laughs> what did I say? You remember? You said, I don't know, man, I'd have to, 
I don't think I could see you for a while. I'd have to. <laughs> I'd have to think about some things. Did I say that? You can find it. Really? I it's wonder what a, I had to think about. You're like that's what I was like. What do you have to think about? You saw my. You saw my chunk. Yeah, I don't know what I'd have to think about. I. I would love. Sometimes I listen to old Cody on videos, and I'm like, I just want to go pick that guy's brain. What were you talking about? <laughs> now you say that the thing about uh, you say being Nate. Nate and I actually have. Hot tub I know. nude together. I know. I've heard all about it for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. Yes. yes. It's a thing with me, him, our buddy Zach. Uh -huh. We all were like in the hot tub. You guys are like, ready you know for Japan. Yeah. yeah. I'll do it. But, Shit. I mean, I don't know that that's going to happen in Japan because you can get, pr there's private onsen as well in Ryokan. Ryokan's okay. like the traditional Japanese uh, inns. Okay. And a lot of them have private hot springs. Probably way more rooms. expensive. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, but... um. In that case, you do not have to be naked. Like, it's your private sure. spring. You can do whatever you want in it. Yeah. So Whatever you want. I, yeah, I'm sure people... I would love to go through those hot springs with a black light. See what's going on. Are there. you sure you No, I to. would not I love say, to. <laughs> do you really want that, Cody? But, yeah, anyway. Anyway. I don't know what we were talking about. Uh, Just anyway, traveling. So that's cool. You're going to be biking and whatnot. And then uh, I don't know if I've said this on here. Maybe my wife are talking about going to Ireland next year. Seriously? I yeah. thought we were going to Montana, bro. We well, just we can, planned this. Bro, we can still go to Montana. This is just a drive. Mon uh, Ireland's a little that's bit. It's a big drive, man. That's a far drive. It's just a drive. And I don't have a car still. Oh, man. <laughs> I oh. am looking at, I'm already thinking about I need to get a car again. Yeah. That'll be next year stuff, though. Yeah. You yeah. got time. Yeah, there's no reason to worry about it now. I'm going to be out of country. I'm saving for other stuff. But yeah. but Montana next year? Yeah, that's something we're talking about. Maybe going to Montana next year. Maybe That'd be sick, dude. Take a Your group boys on, a, on some horses. <laughs> on some horses. Are we doing Brokeback Mountain? That's not what I meant. I just, I know a lot of people Episode take horse three trips. Last of Us? <laughs> I just know a lot of people take horse trips in the well, mountains That just means there. it'll be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> But you're going to Ireland? Yeah, we're talking about it. We don't have anything. Actually, it's funny. Do you remember, um, I don't know if I want to say the name on the show. Uh, do you remember? I can't read lips, bro. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, don't, I just don't like saying people's names on the show, that, you know, just in case. Um, um, I hated her with a burning passion. Yeah, she's uh, really cool once she's not a teacher. I actually, I remember seeing her at a convention once mm -hmm. and uh, I should turn that off. And he was yelling at me. I forgot to silence that. And she seemed cool. She seemed a lot better, but she, I could still tell that she didn't like me. Um, I was a terrible student in her class. So was I. Uh, yeah. So was I, but I, she saw me and like lit up. Really? Yeah, but because I think the difference is you were a terrible student, but you also, you also like, I don't want to say you weren't friendly, but like you weren't like. What class did we have with her together? Uh, it was remedial English. Table. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because, yeah, I knew we had one. I had another class with her too. I took journalism with her, mm -hmm. which I think that's where she ended up hating me, mm -hmm. because that English ten class we were in, all those students were. It was the remedial class. I can't believe I needed that. Because I love writing in English. I just was a lazy kid. Oh, yeah, the same. Yeah. It was just, I, we were both very not great students, except one of us graduated on time. It was her. Um, but, but, yeah, uh, anyway, her and I got to chatting because we were really? just catching up. And and uh, was telling her, you know, that me and my wife were talking about going to Ireland. She said, oh, well, you know, what I do outside of teaching is I'm a travel planner. Seriously? Yeah. So she's like, whenever you guys get ready to do that, you know, I'd be, I'd love to. So we're going to think maybe hook up with her and try and get some travel planning going. That's sick, man. That's she, really cool. Because uh, she said she goes to Ireland pretty, not often, but she'd been there a couple times. Mm, I see. So you're going to go see your your home? Are you, I, are you Irish? I don't know. I have no idea what you are. Uh, this year, I think I'm going to try and shell out the money to do the 23 and Me because um, I got to know what I am. I'm interested in it as well. Which Megan, let's do it together. Yeah. You want to do it and we'll read it I on the show? I got to see how much it is. But yeah, uh, if it's depending on the price, yes. It's like 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks. Is that it? It's not like, oh my God, you got to pay more for oh, more for stuff more you results. want. Because you can, because there's one you get where it just tells you you're like, what you are and then there's one you can get that tell you all the diseases and things mm. and disorders you're prone to i don't want to deal with that yeah i, was, <laughs> I don't need to know what's wrong with me i'll figure it out in time <laughs> is that a good idea uh, yeah megan was actually telling me about it at crossroads uh 
Xavier's wife. Oh. <laughs> and because uh, she had done it at some point. Oh, yeah. What's she? I already forgot. Ah. All I remember her saying was that she wasn't what she thought she was. Like they thought she was 100%. What was it? Italian or something? Uh-huh. And they're just not at all. Not at like, all. Completely not. Whatever it was, she's not it. Whatever That's she thought cool. it was. That's yeah. funny. Now, I've always been told that I have German blood. Mm hmm. But so hasn't sure. everyone? I feel like I have as yeah. well. However, I looked up my last name, and that is, my last name, Richards, is British. So I could be British, but I also am, have been told that I have some Native American in me. Oh, we all have, man. Come on. Me too. I grew up believing I'm like 116th something. Well, now, the difference is my dad's, my dad's dad was actually half. Like legit, for yeah, sure. It's confirmed. My da- my, even my dad and his whole family have jet black hair. Okay. Because of that. Now, again, I might find out that that is total BS. <laughs> yeah. I might end up, like, my wife did it. Part of her is Egyptian. Egyptian? Yeah, that's that sexy side. Really? Are Egyptians sexy? I don't know. I just like wanted to, I'm like, I just uh, wanted to call my wife sexy. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know many Egyptians, so I'm not sure. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, that's very interesting. Yeah. Um, her main thing was she was, uh, she was Irish was her big thing. I think I'm definitely, but she was disappointed because she thought she was German. I remember on Good Mythical Morning or on Ear Biscuits, Rhett talking about, I'm going to get it backwards. He either went to Scotland or he went to Ireland Mm -hmm. because he thought that that's what he was. Mm Mm-hmm. And then come to find out he's 100% the other one. Wow. Yeah, so they, they went because they thought it was like a ancestral trip or whatever, like visiting the See, that's, homeland. And then finding out later, like, you're 100% the other one. That's what I want. If I find out that I have either, I need to find out what I'm hoping. Uh, you know, we can all hope. Hey, speaking of Egypt. Yeah. Um, that's where your wife's from, bro. Yeah. Dang. Um, but she, uh, or... I want to hope that I have either some, like, Viking blood in me. Of course you want that. Or some Greek blood in me. Of course. I want... Vi- now, that's probably wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, probably. I mean, Viking is probably more likely than Greek. Uh-huh. But... Well, one can hope. We'll I would out. also take Celtic. Of course. I would take... Which is UK, British, Ireland. Right. I would take that. I'll take whatever I can get. I'll be excited about it. What's going to surprise me is if it comes back and it says 90% Ashkenazi Jew. Then I'm going to be like, whoa. (laughs) I think that's very possible. I don't know. if I I doubt it. (laughs) Yeah, you never know. I literally have no idea. I imagine it's probably going to come back and just be like, you're 100% British or something. And I'm going to be like, dang. (laughs) Well, that sucks. That's the worst option. (laughs) I'd be proud of being British. I have to start saying, isn't it? Tuesday. In, in it, in it pod- let's do the podcast on Tuesday, mate. Oh, all right, mate. <laughs> Tell you what, what we'll do is go down the pub. We'll write out some skits, right? And then what we'll do is come back here and we'll just do them all out and we'll just have a jolly old time. What do you think? And then we'll go to Nando's. <laughs> Nando? <laughs> I can't, we have to stop. <laughs> what is Nando? You don't know what Nando's is? No. What's Seriously? Nando's? Yeah, what's that? It's a super famous uh, chicken restaurant. And I, mean, I think it's actually from South Africa, but it's super, super famous in the UK. Really? We're always yeah. talking about going to Nando's. It's, it's been a long time since I've... I was really mostly caught up on the British scene when I was way watching Doctor Who and mm. all those. They never went to Nando's and Doctor Who? They never talked about Nando's. Nando's, from what I've heard from talking to my students who've been to UK, they always say, it's true, British food sucks, but Nando's is good. And they say, it's probably because it's not really from UK. <laughs> so, <laughs> dang. Yeah. I don't but they look, always say, you got to go to Nando's. That's the one thing I'm like, dang, I really don't want to eat that British food. Yeah, I know. But just go to Nando's. I guess you're Nando's right. Nando's every day. Every day, every night. I guess I just make my own American food. It doesn't always work like that. Dang. When I was in Australia and Philippines, I had a lot of like bad times because of trying to make the food I knew in America and the, the ingredients are just different. Like the flavor of things are just different. You get it and you make what looks exactly like what you would make here and you'd bite it and it's like, it's just not the same. Mm-hmm. It's much better, I found, to just embrace the food wherever you go even if it sucks, because it's better than banging your head against the wall trying to 
make something from back home that's not working. Oh, man. Yeah. But most food's good. So other than in the UK, it's probably fine. Okay. Okay, so I did want to talk about Anime Crossroads yeah, on this episode. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to watch your review yet, so let's talk man, about that. what the... It's been out for a week. I know, I, my work schedule's weird. Uh-uh. You just told me you have endless downtime at work. You could have... It's a... Uh, how long? Eight minutes long or something like that? Is it eight minutes? It's short, bro. I'll be honest, I'm also forgetting. Every time I get the downtime, I get to doing something else. It's... I'm a bad friend. This is the return of convention reviews. Like, legitimately, the review marked the start of something. I I know. I went to put it on at one point, but then I got distracted by something, and I forgot to put it back on. So, it's not that I'm not planning to watch it. I just forgot. (laughs) It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, just forgetting. So, let's talk about it, though. It's better, yeah, because I can actually just talk to you about it. Instead of you saying, oh, I already know. I watched the review. Yeah. Uh, so that's why you didn't watch it, because you were preparing for this podcast. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I will say, though, with that review, it was very exciting. And thank you to anybody who's over here listening to this, who also watched on that channel and saw the review. Uh, the response was awesome. Like, putting that out. Um, it got them. It was the quickest to accumulate views mm-hmm. is since coming back. Since all the Yomacon stuff, the first Yomacon video even, this got... M- views faster than that one like wow. youtube tells you like where it's ranking like out of the last 10 and it just did amazing that's awesome so yeah thank you to everyone and thank you to everyone who watched the music video as well the music video didn't get nearly as many views that's how it is when you put all that like creative effort into something i found at least like anytime i'm really excited about a video it doesn't do as well mm-hmm. but i was excited about the review too so it's well, all sure good. yeah because that's you are convention reviews it's true. It's it's in the name. So And you didn't even review the last Yomacon. And this one we just went to? Or the one before that. I didn't realize I had stopped reviewing cons. Mm-hmm. I did not realize that in the last year because I went back to watch the last review I had you done. Didn't re- well, I think the reason you didn't review Midwest is you had come up with a rule that you were like, I'm not reviewing Midwest anymore. No, I did review the last Midwest, oh, but you? I did come up with that rule because okay. when I watched that video, I said, this is my last review of Midwest. Why? I don't know. Well, I actually agree because you're like, it's been the same every year. It's just consistent. I can only say the same things every time. Yeah, you're right. But I shouldn't make it a rule that like, I'm not going to do it again. I should just be like... Well, you if something changes, yeah, that's what you said. Maybe I did say that. Yeah, maybe you I said did. if if something big happens and it really does change it, I'll do a review. But you said for now, you're right. I'm just yeah. I actually really respected that because like you would you would reviewed it five times. Yeah, how, for sure. how many times can you review the same convention? But at the and same it be time, a seven out of seven to eight out of ten every time. But at the same time, I realized that some people watch the reviews just to like. Like, it's their first time going to a con, and, like, they just want to see what someone else thought about mm-hmm. it. Like, it's like when you watch a show, and you didn't hear anything about that show, and then or a movie or something, or an album, whatever, and then afterwards you go look up the reviews, because you're like, did people feel the same way I did about it? So I, I agree with my old sentiment, but I also can see another side okay. for why it's it could be made, but... Yeah, I didn't make one for Matsuri Con that year. I didn't make one for The Last Crossroads. In 2017. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't realize that either until I checked. I'm like, where's the review for this? <laughs> I had to go all the way back to 2015. Wow. And we hated it in 2015, bro. I didn't realize that. Hated what? Crossroads. We had so many issues. And I, I feel w- like I do remember that year being particularly bogus. Yeah, and I remember liking 2017, so it's weird that I didn't review it. I and didn't like, go in 2017. Update it. Or did I? No, I, I went in 2018. 2017 is when Anessa was with us. Were you there yeah, there? I didn't go there. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Um, but anyway, this year I think was the best crossroads I've been to since that in first a long one. time. Yeah, I mean, I think some people disagree with me, and I think there's a totally a chance that like it's nostalgia. Totally a chance. Was it in the same original building, like we said? No, so last couple of years we're back in the original building. This year is in Plainfield. Dang, we missed it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a 45-minute drive over to the Embassy Suites in Plainfield, and it's like, it's big, but it's it's halfway a hallway con. All right. So like in the beginning, I'm like, like in the convention center, I'm like, man, this is a hallway con. But then you go over to the hotel, and the hotel has a big, beautiful lobby. Now explain what hallway con is for people 
for you? You forget? I forget, but also <laughs> I can't be the only one. A hallway con is just a con that takes place all in hallways. Like they don't have a big open okay, area. Yeah, okay. like all like the main areas are just hallways. Okay. Uh, think, so, okay, so the original crossroads. Yeah, think the original crossroads. Though its hallway was at least wide. Yeah, they had that big common area. Yeah, so a hallway con is really something that has almost no common area. There, I've only seen a few like this. I think... Uh, Sounds claustrophobic, and uh, I think I would hate it. Ramen con, hallway con. But I, I ended up really liking ramen con that well, second time. they got time. that big nice pool, though. Yeah. Did you go to ramen con? No, but I remember the review. Yeah, they have that big... They do have a big pool area, but that's not like where the convention's happening. Like, people from a convention are going there. They're hanging out there and doing stuff there. But all the convention stuff mm. is over in just hallways. But it doesn't matter anymore because that hotel, from what I know, got torn down. Oh, bummer. It's gone. Bummer. Yeah, that they still do ramen con, though, don't they? Yeah, but uh, they moved it to somewhere else. No, they still do it right there in that spot on the rubble. In rubble's. that spot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know it's not the same, all right? I get distracted by the backgrounds on this a lot. So, do you I ever need to get turn? rid of those? No, I like them. <laughs> um, also, maybe Evil Con. No, Evil Con had a big open area. Evil Con was Evil cool. Con was br- uh, Evil Con was interesting. Why? Because the inside of the hotel was built like the outside of a hotel. Yeah, like, I never thought of it like that. They like put. It was like they built an outside hotel. And then when that, someone bought it and they're like, let's build another hotel around this hotel. You're kind of right. Yeah. I would love to go back to EvilCon. They were there at Crossroads advertising. I'm, I'm kind of glad they're still doing stuff. Yeah. I, I know they're not in that hotel anymore because they. I think that hotel got shut down that. I don't that know. I don't I'm pretty know sure it got are. shut down after that year. Do you know when EvilCon is? No. Right now. <laughs> This exact second. So we're not making it this year, guys. Sorry. I looked into it. I was like, it's three hours away, but it could be cool. And, yeah. I, and I saw the date and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Go not. darn it, though. Dang. That's a three and a half hour drive to Evansville. Yeah. Oof. But it's fun, though. I really, that's one of the things I'll say is um, we went to Yoma and Yoma was big. You know, Yoma's a big con, but. I always thought I liked that a lot, but I realized I might like smaller cons better than big cons. I know we always were partial to the medium sized cons, of course, best of both worlds. Yeah, but. I think I think I actually would agree with you for the intimacy. Exactly. Yeah, it's for the intimacy. It felt mm. like, dude, the amount of viewers that came up to us over the weekend. Really? Like convention reviews. Like I didn't know you were making videos again, or. I saw you were making videos again and I was so excited or like I saw you were making videos, but I didn't know you were going to be here. It was so many people. It was so cool, but That's it's not, awesome. not just seeing viewers of the channel, but it's also just those small cons have just this different feeling and this different vibe of like, you can really like make friends there. I mean, our first crossroads that we went to, we met people. Mm-hmm. We don't meet people at YomaCon. You know what no, I mean? Like, right. Unless it's someone we knew beforehand and we like planned to meet up there, like like we knew them from online or something, but we mm. don't meet new people yeah. at Yoma or at ASIN or at any of these cons. And maybe some people do, but for us, we find those that hard, I think. Um, but um, yeah. I miss going to the small cons. I, I'm, a, I'm sad that I didn't get to go this year, but I have to. Oh. I love that one. He, anyone listening to this in audio, Dakota is getting so distracted with the background. Well, you got such good ones. You got Jack Skellington with Brooke. I'm, I Brooke, only get the good ones, bro. Brooke's my favorite One Piece character because I'm a contrarian, of course. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> the least favorite is my favorite. I still think Frankie's the least favorite. Oh, I guess you're right. Brooke People is a, like Brooke. But he had like two of the biggest MVP moments in like the last three arcs. That's what man. I'm saying. I think Brooke was people weren't liking him as much anymore until the last few arcs. Yeah, you know, he got he had that thing he did at Big Mom's. I know he had that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know he did something awesome in Wano. I can't remember what he did in Wano, but 100 percent in in uh, Whole Cake Island arc. Oh yeah, he's MVP. Oh my god, 100 percent. Brooke is awesome, dude. I love Brooke. Anyway, what were you saying? I don't remember. I love Brooke. You said you wanted to go to Crossroads. Oh, yeah. So, but um, next week, actually, I will be going to Florida for a week mm-hmm. for my brother-in-law's wedding, mm-hmm. and I needed money for that instead. Crossroads was cheap, though. Yeah. We didn't have a hotel room. Yeah, but I would have spent money. 
You would have. None of us bought anything in the I dealer. I would have. Or wait, Nate did. Never mind. I would have bought something that I didn't need oh, to okay. buy. I'm sure. Now I will say about this crossroads because you haven't seen the review. I liked it in general. I thought it was great. It has that nostalgia in like they still do the AMV at the opening ceremonies, which was freaking sick. Is it still Faisa? Is she still doing it? I guess so. I'm not sure. I have, have to, to assume. I'll have to look on her YouTube channel. I checked the YouTube channel and there hasn't been an AMV uploaded there she since usually like uploads 2015. It like, what? But I got to assume it's still the same person because it felt the same. The editing felt the same. The vibe felt the same. But yeah, and I totally forgot the reason that's so fun is because everybody cheers whenever they see the anime yes, they love. Yes, dude. And you know what got the most cheers? <sighs> Chainsaw Man? No. Dragon Ball? No. One Piece? No. Italia? No. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Genshin is everywhere, bro. People are obsessed with is that Genshin. Even an anime? No. It's a game. It's a gotcha game. What's a gotcha game? Is it gotcha? I guess it's got gotcha's like um random things. Ugh, I don't know how to explain gotcha. I have to Google it. But I'm trying to think what I, I I know I've heard of it, but I can't think of what it looks like. Genshin Impact. Yeah, yeah. People love it, dude. Don't don't freak out. <laughs> gotcha is a da, 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 the meaning of a gotcha game. It is. <gasps> Sorry, audios. This says it's to ensnare somebody. Is that right? That's not right. Gotcha. As far as I knew, what a gotcha game is, it's like a free to play game where like they get money in other ways, like like loot boxes or like random you get you spend money on like random skins and you're things not like selling this, this on me selling i'm not on trying this. to sell you on on uh gotcha but you told me not to knock it i'm saying don't judge people love it bro but it's not maybe it's not, not for judging us. Pe- i'm not judging people i'm just like disappointed <laughs> i'm disappointed that at least it's not fortnite but it's not anime well, it's a very anime aesthetic. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. You've never seen? I guess not. I guess I Genshin? thought I knew what you were talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, let me show you Genshin. It's Genshin Impact. Yeah, I got it. Uh, you see it? Because I already got it. Yeah, here. Okay. It's, it was like based off of the Breath of the Wild. Like it copied a lot of stuff from oh, Breath of the Wild, but then okay. made it animation. You've totally seen ads for I it. I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's free to play, right? Yeah, it's free to play. Uh, I think that's why so again, many people get into it. It's free sold. to play. I don't, I'm very judgy on free to play games. Oh, me too. I don't, I'm not really that into free free to play stuff. Like as, but... uh, when they announced multiverses, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll beat into that. And then they're like, free to play. I was like, out. Is it? Yeah, it's I didn't know that. You gotta, I think you gotta, it's, pay to play you got to pay to download other characters that's free to play pay to play is like any game you know what i mean like yeah. it's free to download but then you gotta there's other ways to pay it yeah, yeah. gotcha is that gotcha as someone's gonna let me know in the comments i in my brain i know what gotcha is i just don't know how to articulate it right um but yeah genshin is the big thing and it's cool because the genshin cosplay are cool it's kind of okay. like league like, where League of Legends, I was never into it, but when you see those League of Legends cosplay, you're like, those are sick. Like, yeah. Yeah, it, it feels like that with okay with Genshin. Uh, but Homestuck, yeah. No more? It, there's a few, but it's interesting because we notice that... At Yoma. Most of the Homestuckers who are still there... That sounds almost rude. Homestuckers. Well, most that's of the what people they were who called. cosplay Homestuck, yeah. That's what they called themselves. Yeah, they um are Stuckies. old now. They're old. They're our age now, dude. No. Like, yeah, remember they always like when we were going to cons, the people who did Homestuck. <laughs> like they aged. Seemed, yeah, it's just the fandom aged is what I mean. It yeah. seems interesting. Like, I think I saw a couple who were younger, but most of them are like, they seem our age. Like the fandom, this isn't the thing that like Don't let the flame die out, Homestuck. At this point, <laughs> that's you what know I'm what? Saying. It feels like it's dying out. No, don't let keep it going. Keep it going. It's That's just crazy. Anyone who didn't go to cons like 10 years ago 
You don't Homestuck was everywhere. Oh my gosh, dude. you couldn't get away from it. The Homestuck meetup, if you accidentally walked past a Homestuck meetup, you wouldn't uh, you might die trying uh-huh. to go past that. Like get absorbed in and just like No, he's gone. <laughs> you'll you'll see him again in like a week and with the horns and like he's infected. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that. No, no but... hate on Homestuck. I'm really no. not trying to put any hate on Homestuck, but the fandom was insane back in the day. Oh yeah, it was huge. Yeah, and now fandoms changed come and go like it was Homestuck at one point. At one point, it was Steven Universe. That was the big thing. Yeah, for sure. I remember that. Uh, Rick and Morty. That was the was big one. Was that big at cons? Uh, maybe. I guess maybe not. Steven the cons. Universe for Steven sure. Steven Universe was huge. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Star Wars was big for a second. I mean, I'm excited now when I see Homestuck cosplayers. We're yeah. always like, bro, look, Homestuck. <laughs> and they actually they looked really cool. Well, like some of them were really well done. Well, it's because we used to, unfortunately, no. We used to poke a lot of fun at Homestucks at their expense, and I'm not proud of that. Um, but it was a fandom, man. Yeah, but the thing is, we like used Attack on Titan fandom got crappy as well. Yeah, the, yeah, not anything against Homestuck. It was more the fandom, like you were saying. Um, it's just any any big fandom like that gets there's ba- going to be bound to be bad people. Yeah, but uh, we would, I guess, we would kind of bond and have fun over our jesting. Yeah, that you would call it, unfortunately, and I think that's part of the reason, like, because we used to, you know, we used to talk mad, not mad, we used to talk mean-ish about it, but now it's disappeared, and we're like, oh, we kind of miss it. Well, also, we've grown, I think. I mean, not, back then, yeah. we were, I think we were much more judgy back yeah. in the day, and we were much more elitist as yes, well. Yes, I think now we're way more open and accepting to just, like, people love different stuff, and, like, that's fine. And then you're not seeing Homestuck around, you're like, man... Where'd they go? Yeah. Did we judge them out of existence? <laughs> I hope not, please. Did I do this? And, oh, no, it's just not as big as it was. Yeah. yeah. But you, you see them now, so you now when you see them, you're like, ah, they're, they're still there. They still, still love the thing they love. Yeah. Good for them. I mean, it kind of makes me feel bad because I think I've maybe filmed one Homestuck cosplayer in my entire first season of convention reviews, like for a music video. I was clearly just not filming them. I like... But now there were some really cool ones. I still didn't film them. You you had a I think back then you might have filmed a lot of things that only you knew. For sure. I Unless did. Was I was either that... I know it or it's super sick. Like mm. really really well like done. Like if it was like a big like Greymon cosplay or something. Well, I know Greymon. That's getting well, you know what I mean. Like yeah. a big monster from some random yeah. JRPG. Yeah, I remember filming a few, like, Guts back in the day, back before I was into Berserk, just because I'm like, that's cool, but I wasn't into it yet. But I still have a problem. I'm a shy boy, and filming was t- tough for me at Crossroads. This was supposed to be my test to get ready for ASIN. Well, you had gotten over that years ago. Like, it took you, because yeah. you used to be, we used to tell you, because you just, you what you would do is you'd go up, can I film you for the video? You'd go up and they'd stand there and pose like they're getting a picture. Yeah. And you, instead of saying, hey, can you do some poses or something like a tea dragon or something, mm-hmm. would, you would just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm explaining. No, for sure, yeah. For the viewers, he would just uh, pretend, move, more or less just move the camera around a pose and then put music to it. Not that that didn't look, you always and made even it. Before that, I would just pretend I was taking a picture. I wouldn't even move the camera. Oh, I'd yeah. Just be like, can I take a picture of you? Just film video and then pretend I'm pressing film the button. Be like, for okay, two, got three it. Seconds. I did. God, I'm gonna take a couple. <laughs> okay, I got it. Thanks. Walk off. That's called social anxiety, and now I can look back and totally realize that I wanted to do something cool and creative, but I was anxious to talk to people, and I'm a shy person, and I yeah. realize that now. But well, you knew then, that back then. You told me all the time how shy you were. I did, but I didn't realize. The extent. I guess I didn't realize that that's why I did these weird things. Now I can see, like, okay, I did that to cope with this anxiety, I guess. And then you find, because you went and you asked T Dragon at one point, how do you go and get these people to do all these things? Because mm. he'd get people to dance with him or do yeah. crazy action shots. And he was like, oh, here, I'll show you. And he just ran up to some random dude. I forgot and he about was like, that. Hey, can you do some stuff for a music video for me? And the guy was like, sure. And he like filmed him do for like two minutes doing a couple things. He's like, thanks. And he's like, that's how you do it. T-Dragon is just such an extrovert compared to He really to me, is. He is. Like, he's about to get married. Is he? Yeah. 
Whoa, I'm still. I don't keep up with anyone anymore, but I still we're still friends on Facebook. Or he just got engaged. Oh, okay. We're still friends on Facebook, but I don't look. I have my. It's called News Feed Eradicator, mm -hmm. so I can't see anything anyone posts on Facebook. I think he's on. I think he made it onto a, an album cover of Lil Yachty. Oh, Lil Yachty. Yeah, Lil Yachty. Yeah, he. That was years ago. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean. I don't really care for Lil Yachty, but I mean, that's still really cool. Yeah, that's sick. And no, T-Dragon's awesome. And when I came back and first posted again at Yoma, mm -hmm. he uh, was commenting on the Facebook link. Like, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he's basically like, it's sick to see you back and doing it. He, he's a good guy. I remember a couple of years ago, uh, he came to, he was a guest at, I think it was Indie PopCon. Was he? Yeah. Wow. It was Indie PopCon 2016. And he was a guest, uh -huh. but he was like, they have me a booth, and I met up with him, uh -huh. and I was like, they have a booth here for me, but like, I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of meandering around here, <laughs> and I feel bad because I think he wanted me to show him around because he was like oh. the only guy I knew, and but I was waiting in line for an event, so I couldn't get up and show him, yeah, because I and I'd been it was like an event that was like two hours away, and I was had my spot, yeah. Yeah, I feel and, you. And I feel, and I do feel bad for that because I think he was wanting me to maybe because he even said, "Well, can you show me around? You know what's going on?" Uh, and I was like, "Nope." Didn't think about that. <laughs> so then he sat down, we chatted for a little while, and then he finally got up and I said, see. "I think I'm gonna try and find something to do around here." I was like, all right, but he's extroverted. Oh yeah, or at least, I don't know if he actually is. He's good at coming off extroverted. At least dude I'll doesn't say. hold still. Yeah, he, he. But I'm sure he was fine. Oh I, yeah. It, I just remember the first time we met T-Dragon at Momocon. It was mm -hmm. so cool because we saw him from like the balcony and I'm like, T-Dragon. And he's like, Cody, come <laughs> down. Like, because we were up above and yeah. he just waited for us. He was so nice. He's, he's genuinely very nice, dude. Yeah, a super nice guy. Like sometimes you meet people on YouTube and who make stuff or like, not just YouTube, but people who make stuff that mm -hmm. you like and they're not the same as you imagine. Yeah. T-Dragon is just that guy. He just. Yeah, he's super friendly to the point where you're like, how nobody's this friendly. Yeah, nobody's this nice. What's the angle now? He's just, just a nice guy. Yeah, I, yeah, he was, he's a cool guy. Well, I would love to run into him again someday. I don't know if he still does the con I, stuff, but oh, he, I'm pretty sure he does. I haven't stayed up with anything anyone does like that we used to watch back in the day. I, I mean, know. I don't stay super caught up, but I see him post every now and then. I'm, yeah, I'm friends with cool. him on Facebook. That's cool. Um, so is there anything else you wanted to know about Crossroads? Any other curiosities? Or? So let's see. Did, uh, I looked at their guest list. Their oh, guest list seemed weak. It was all me, right. I gave me. it a nine because people were hyped about it. I just, what I realized is I just don't care about English voice actors anymore. And, but the people seemed excited. Well, I still watch English dubs a lot though. I go back and forth between English dub and Japanese dub. We did see uh, David Vincent, one of the voice actors there. He does Green Jow. Oh, I missed Green Jow. We saw him at Taco Bell. Oh. We were sitting there eating, and he walked in and started ordering, and I was just like, guys, that's David Vincent. And I'm like, we're <laughs> of course not going to bother him. I didn't even want him to hear me saying that's David Vincent. I was trying to be so chill because I just wanted to like be able to eat at your Taco Bell and, like, you know, I don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. But I was like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Dream Gel is like my second or third favorite Bleach character. Did you watch that in English? I think I watched the Dream Gel part in I English. I watched it in Japanese first, but then I was re-watching it at work and I, while I'm working, so I can't really work and watch something in Japanese. Mm. So I put it in English, and he's one of the... Bleach's voice acting in English, I, it, it kind of just feels like they were just throwing random people into random roles and they didn't really know. Really? Some of their voices sound really bland. Like, they don't really sound like they're putting in character they sound like they're just trying to emulate the character's mm. persona like instead of like Bro. oh yeah like, sorry go ahead well instead of like uh a character who's like in the japanese dub have like a really commanding and assertive voice and oh. you know in the english dub of bleach you know they might at the beginning it gets better better at the beginning have that guy come out we have to do this thing mm. i am the commanding officer and you will pay obey me yeah, one of the things that I realized that I never noticed, because I first watched Bleach in English. Mm -hmm. When I finally watched it in Japanese, I realized how much better Ichigo's voice is because of one thing. It's the Bon Kai, that like break he oh, does. And yeah. where the English one, I don't know why. Kai. He, he's just Bon Kai in goes, English. He gets so... Oh, I watched the, just to compare, in the new Bleach, mm -hmm. I watched, uh, I guess we're done with Crossroads. <laughs> I still want to talk about it. But... Okay. But in the new Bleach, 
I wanted to watch the dub of it just like okay how because Johnny Ingbosh has come a long way because he's sure. still early in the voice act his voice acting days back then he's come a long way I still think he's a weird vo- choice for Ichigo and Broly because his voice is just so soft uh huh he's got such a soft speaking voice mm-hmm. that I just don't see him as those intense characters mm. dude he he came out in the dub of the newest show. I was like, dang, he's gotten, they all got good. Really? Uh, like Even Orihime's bland English voice. I was like, dang, all right. I was getting hyped to hear him. Bro, I realized years later that I always, I you know how much I love One Piece. Yes. And I still want to go back to Crossroads, but uh, you know how much I love One Piece. But I always felt something weird even about the Funimation dub of One Piece. I like it, but I always felt like something about this just feels kind of weird when I watch it. Then I watched the Japanese for a long time. Then I went back and saw the English one again, and I'm just like, they don't feel so natural when mm-hmm. they talk. They feel kind of robotic. They're doing the, uh, I think they're doing the best they can. It's just, I don't know. The best one, honestly, Brooke. I don't know if I've heard Brooke's English voice. Dude, I think I switched before that. It's Ian Sinclair. You know who's underrated? Who's that? Have you ever watched the four kids dub of One Piece? Uh, bits. Zoro's four kids or voice actor is kind of underrated. He's not that bad. He's got he really goes for it. Actually, I like Luffy's voice actress for four kids. I, I think, do. I think oh, she for sa- four kids. I think she sounds better than Colleen Clinkenbeard. Colleen uh, Clinkenbeard I don't sounds know like she's phoning that, it in when she screams a lot. I used to like Colleen Clinken, Clinkenbeard's uh, Luffy until mm. yeah, getting so used to the Japanese one, and I'm just like, you can't do it, bro. Like. Mm-mm. It's so hard. But who can? Yeah, the French one. Have you ever oh, heard really? the French? Is it good? Luffy? Wow. I just saw it the other day, and I was like, this is great. Uh, you should check it out sometime, for I'd sure. Be down. I'd be down. Um, but yeah, you should look at look at some clips of 4Kids Zoro. He's just... I feel like his voice actor knew this is cringe, I but think still I've heard cool clips in. of him and from Totally Not Mark. Yeah. When he's like... Oh. Yeah, yeah, it, it's when they're on Whiskey Peak and Luffy's like a ball or whatever, something uh, like he's really fat. He's like, Luffy! Yeah. It's like hilarious. Um, um, so do you want to move back to Crossroads? We can talk about voice acting another time. Yeah, so Crossroads, I guess the one thing I wanted to say about it is this hotel already feels, this location already feels too small. Really? It was bigger, but this Crossroads to me felt like, I don't know, it's been a long time, but this felt like the highest attendance to me. I, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just because of the location. I loved the location, but it's just too small already. Too many people. Yeah. Half of it's hallway con, and then the panel rooms are really small. And, um, oh, there's some other stuff I want to tell you off camera. Remind me. We're going to wrap this up in just a second. Yeah. Don't let me forget. All right. Um, Oh, wow. We've been going for almost an hour. Yeah. We're about done here with this one. But, uh, the main events room was felt like a decent size when I first went in. How was that dealer's room? Wait, wait, wait. The main events room first. Okay. I'll talk about the dealer's room. The main events room felt like a good size. It was not. As time went on, like especially you get into Saturday, the masquerade, and they had a drag show as well. There were just people standing all around. Like so many people had to stand because they just it's not big enough Mm-mm. to sit everyone. That's an, and yeah, that's they said thing. if you leave, you're not you cannot come back in. It's not gonna happen. Oof. Um, which oof. happens sometimes with masquerades at like ASIN. Yeah, I'm not used to seeing that at Crossroads. Um, but they might have to start booking out the convention center. <laughs> downtown yeah i i hate that place i know i know a lot of people like it and it's really big i just think it looks so big and bland and ugly well it's it's because we've been to better convention centers that's the thing yeah it's just it's so a bland. nice one but it's yeah there's just not a lot going on it's either. a good size it's a great space to have an event it's not good lighting anywhere yeah, there's, lighting's ugly visual a lot of vacant areas it's yeah. too big it's if you put crossroads in there you're gonna feel how small cro- of a convention crossroads mm-hmm. is i just don't think they should go there i say I'm, maybe not a convention center but something like something that's got a huge ballroom just don't know what they can do in this location because they really want to stay there you can <sighs> tell by what they say because they spent money and it's nice it's a new building it's nice but were they bringing it up a lot in our nice new building? Well, they were saying they want, they hope that this will be the permanent location because they've had to move around so much. Well, yeah, yeah. I get that. Like, and it's expanding. It's like Indiana's only really local anime con. Indianapolis is. Yeah, like because the, we got 
evil con. We've got ramen con. But they're also spread out. They're this on opposite for people ends. like us that live in the most, like, those are good for people who, like, the further north and south you go, that's where it gets more rural. Yeah. You know, where we live, we live more in the middle. This is the, like, Indianapolis con. Yeah, so, uh, like, if it's and it's, like, the only anime con we, you can get around here. Sure, you have your comic cons and pop cons, but, like, those suck. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's just not the same. Yeah, like, they don't suck. They're they just, don't suck, but they're not the same. Anime cons do a different type of thing. The All the focus at those cons goes to the dealer's room and the guests. Yeah. Nothing goes on events. There's no uh, cos- big cosplay meetups that I'm aware of. I'm sure there are, but it's just not the same. Yeah. I don't know. The vibe is different. Like, the dealer's room, which you asked about, was great. The okay, only yeah. problem, again, is it's too cramped. Mm. But it was the biggest dealer's room they've ever had. Really? Yeah, they had so much cool stuff. They Maybe you've seen it now. I don't know, because Nate had seen it. They started, they're selling now these miniature swords. So like the exact like real swords from the show. Like I used to buy big, but they have like miniature ones on miniature stands. I think it could it I should have bought one. It could have been so cool for this set. But they're really cool. And it has like they're the swords from the show. And they're just maybe like this big. That sounds familiar. I've never seen them at a con, but Nate said he'd seen them advertised online. I feel like I saw something. No, I just no I didn't. They're cool, man. They're actually really cool. You'll see it in my review if you ever watch it. I'll watch it. I'll um, watch that. I'll that's, that I guess, pretty much all i got to say about Crossroads. I, I loved it. I thought it was great. Thanks for saying hi to everybody that I met there. And... I need that sword. <laughs> Maybe they'll have my ASIN. Uh, I'm sure that they'll have. I'm going to go broke at ASIN. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to go broke at ASIN. Uh, I need to not buy anything in the dealer's room. Uh, but... I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but my wife is also, we're both going to be starting to do better financially by that time that's good yeah so is there anything else you wanted to ask about crossroads or you want to wrap it up i think we can wrap, wrap it up it sounds good sounds like i'd love to go next year like i think For next sure. year i'll finally actually get to go we've been wanting to go the last couple but i think next year we will actually be good to go you gotta go man yeah. crossroads is so we don't need to get a hotel even it's close it's not that bad I might still get a hotel we'll you see. can if you want but on, we had a great time not having a hotel right i was surprised but yeah, we had a fantastic time. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching or listening. And I guess that's it for today. So we will see you in the next one. Stay nerdy, everybody.